Being productive, being happy, being in control of your life. It's easy to dream. It's really hard to do. There will always be an excuse not to do the things you need to do, particularly the things that scare you. You know, sometimes when the dream is so big, the fact that it's so big becomes paralyzing. From Diego, I have a dream of opening my own restaurant, but I'm terrified to start. What I want you to think about is I want you to shrink your thinking. I want you to think about researching a restaurant. I want you to think about caring to launch a restaurant. I want you to think about learning about launching a restaurant. Achieving big goals may seem tough at times, but breaking them down into small, attainable steps can make them more manageable and achievable. It's easy to get overwhelmed by the enormity of your goals, but remember that the progress is made through small, incremental steps. One practical approach is to break down your ideas into smaller tasks. Instead of focusing on the big picture, break it down into smaller steps you can take one at a time. For example, if you dream of launching a restaurant, start by researching and learning about the restaurant industry. This could include studying successful restaurants, understanding the market and competition, and learning about food and beverage operations. By taking these smaller steps, you can gradually build your knowledge and skills, and it won't feel as overwhelming as trying to achieve the entire goal all at once. In addition to breaking your dreams into little bits, changing the way you frame your goal is a crucial aspect of attaining your goals. You see how just saying, I want to learn about launching a restaurant changes how you feel versus I'm launching a restaurant, which feels so big. You're just in a phase where you're learning and researching this idea, which all of a sudden takes all the pressure off, doesn't it? Awesome. Changing the way you frame your goals can also make a big difference. Instead of saying, I'm launching a restaurant, you can speak positively by rephrasing it as, I'm in a phase of learning and research about launching a restaurant. This shift in mindset can take off the pressure and allow you to focus on the process of learning and gaining knowledge rather than getting overwhelmed by the end goals. Now that you have broken down your goals into smaller bits, how do you achieve them? Well, the answer lies in consistent actions. Number two, 10 to 15 minutes a day, you are a student of this subject. That's it. Get yourself a notebook where you keep all your notes. Get yourself organized like you would as a student and find one thing you can do every single day that teaches you a little bit something about this subject that you're really interested in. And trust me, it'll all happen just by doing that. Imagine the thrill of mastering a subject or skill that you're deeply passionate about. The possibilities are endless. Whether learning a new language, mastering an instrument, or delving into a fascinating study area. Sometimes, a student may feel overwhelmed by the magnitude of the task ahead. That's where the power of daily action comes in. A simple yet transformative approach that can propel you toward success, one small step at a time. The secret sauce lies in consistency and commitment. Setting aside 10 to 15 minutes each day to actively engage with your goal creates a ripple effect of progress and momentum. It's not about waiting for the perfect time or dedicating hours on end. It's about organizing and taking small, manageable steps consistently, day in and day out. It's like building a sturdy brick wall, one brick at a time until you have a solid foundation for success. If I get you to start doing that, and you do this every day for 10 or 15 minutes, which you absolutely can, guess what's going to happen? You're going to feel momentum. You're going to feel like you're working on it. You're going to meet people that are interested in it. You're going to learn things that are going to lead to the next thing that you need to learn. And you will have mastered the art of getting started. And by doing something a little bit every day, you're also going to master the art of continuing to keep going. And from there, it'll snowball. I promise you. I promise you. As you meet people, the next thing you'll do would be to learn more from them. Getting organized is the first step to success. Plan a specific time each day for your goal and stick to it no matter what. Treat it as non-negotiable appointment with yourself, just like any other important commitment. It may be early in the morning before everyone else wakes up, during your lunch break, or in the evening after a busy day. The key is to create a routine that works for you and makes it easy to integrate daily action into your lifestyle. The beauty of daily action is that it's not about striving for perfection or huge leaps of progress. It's about taking consistent, small steps that accumulate over time and yield significant results. It could start with reading articles, watching tutorials, or practicing a new technique. It could be as simple as reviewing notes, brainstorming ideas, or solving a small problem. 
these modest efforts, when done consistently, can add up to a wealth of knowledge and skills that will set you apart in your field of interest. But the benefits of daily action go beyond just the tangible outcomes. It's also about the intangibles, the mindset shift, the sense of accomplishment, and the motivation that comes from seeing yourself making progress. By taking action every day, you create a sense of momentum that keeps you moving forward, even when the going gets tough. It becomes a habit that fuels your motivation, inspires your creativity, and boosts your confidence in your abilities. As you read and watch tutorials about people that have started restaurants, as you watch television programming about it, you're going to feel more inspired. You're going to start to see, I think I can do this. That's going to lead to the next thing. Trust me when I say it's all about the little progress you make every day. Another powerful aspect of daily action is the potential for connections and collaborations. As you consistently engage with your goals, you will likely come across others who share your interests and passions. This could be through online communities, forums, or networking events. These connections can enrich your learning journey, provide support and encouragement, and open doors to new opportunities for growth and development. The magic of daily action lies in its sustainability. It's not a short-term sprint, but a long-term strategy for success. As you continue to take small, consistent steps each day, you build a foundation of knowledge, skills, and confidence that propels you towards your goal. The initial challenges that once seemed impossible become more manageable, and you gain the momentum to keep pushing forward, no matter how tough the road may seem. Now, if you're feeling overwhelmed by the enormity of your goal, remember that daily action is your key to success. Embrace the power of consistency. Commit to small, manageable steps each day and watch yourself make remarkable progress. It's not about how much time you have, but how you use it. With daily action as your compass, you can unlock your true potential and achieve your dream of success. And remember, you'll have to visualize your goals to have a clear direction. But it's critical that you understand the two-step process of what you're going to do in terms of visualization. You have to do the second part, which is you have to imagine yourself taking the steps to get there. Not the end goal. You have to visualize yourself on a run going two miles. The next simple yet powerful technique that can unlock your potential for success is the power of visualization a scientifically backed practice that can revolutionize your goal setting journey. But here's the catch. There's more to it than meets the eye. The groundbreaking research from UCLA reveals a two-step process beyond just writing down your goals or creating vision boards. Are you ready to discover the missing piece to make visualization work for you? Step one is about going beyond the end goal and visualizing the steps to get there. It's not just about the picturesque end game, but about vividly seeing yourself taking action, progressing, and overcoming challenges. Envision yourself every day, actively engaged in the practical steps that lead up to your goal. See yourself hustling, strategizing, and celebrating small victories along the journey. This creates a dynamic mental picture of your path to success, igniting your motivation and determination to keep pushing forward. That's not all. Here's where the real magic happens. Step two is about tapping into the emotions associated with your imagined actions. Research from UCLA emphasizes the significance of allowing yourself to feel the emotions you will experience as you take those steps towards your goal. Feel the pride, the excitement, the joy, and the fulfillment as you visualize yourself in action. This emotional connection amplifies the power of visualization, aligning your subconscious mind with your desired outcome and propelling you towards success. What is your take on this approach? Let us know in the comments section. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an update. Until then, take care.